I don't think I'm some god. I just want to talk about the life I lived and the education system that followed through it. Listen to when I say this, I'm not trying to preach or do whatever, but trust me when I say, I agree with some people when they say my childhood was wasted. I can't tell you how to do my taxes. God forbid I got taught how to do that. They say it's the parents' fault, but they're not always around. They don't always have a moment to sit down with you and teach you something when you're literally paying an education system to teach you how to do that. But no, God forbid they teach you how to do your taxes. But they can teach you quadratic equations on how to figure out the sun's axis on what degree of the angle it's spinning at at a current time period. But no, trying to teach me about my own morals and beliefs and how to teach me that I have human rights. Chuck that out the window because God forbid I'll ever need to know what I'm worth. Did you know that the country has laws? Yeah, but do you know how many laws there are in your country? Do you know how many of those you could probably get arrested for? Do you know how to get out of an arrest? And I don't mean in an illegal way, I mean how do you pay for bail? Do you even pay for bail? All of these things. They teach you stuff in school like how to cook a four course meal for the king or queen. But God forbid I know how to cook a healthy meal that will keep me sustained for a single day for just one person. I was taught how to decorate cakes. I was taught how to make a four tier cake that had fondant flowers on it and had chocolate melting down it. But how do I make a healthy meal that has all the vitamins and nutrients I need? That doesn't matter because that doesn't look pretty. Whereas the cake does and that's what matters, doesn't it? The cake will give you more points because of the aesthetic versus how a salad would look because not everything that's nutritional is good looking. Math, I think, is one of the messed up subjects that's ever taught. Yes, I do agree some of it is useful. We're not talking about primary school here. We're not talking about year eight. I'm talking about high school math. For the 1% of people who want to be mathematicians, teach them all your trigonometry and, and quadratic equations. That's fine. I'm not saying you shouldn't. But at the same time, there should be some part of the mathematical degree or mathematical subjects teaching us normal everyday mathematical skills. But do we know how to do that? No. We were told we'd never have a calculator with us all the time. Even to this day, I'm still told I'll never have a calculator on me. But why is it every single phone we ever have has a calculator on it? Why do all computers have one? Why do our watches now carry calculators? Yet you still tell me calculators will not be everywhere. What does that tell you? That we're still following the old laws that were taught maybe 50 years ago? The only thing that's changed is everything gets harder, but our teachings are still the same. I'll give you an example, right? Majority of classrooms, you sit in a straight line, row upon row, right? Nothing new there. The only difference is the chair might change, but my, most of the time, I can speak from experience, the chair's cut off the circulation in my legs, and I've, I'm always in pins and needles because they're just at the perfect angle where they cut off circulation. So of course I'm not paying attention to what the teacher is speaking and all I can think about is the pain in my legs because these seats don't even support me. How can I be in a school system that doesn't support who I am when they're trying to teach me something? High school apparently, especially for year 12, was all about teaching you ways on how to go to uni, how to be greater at uni. They're supposed to teach you what it's like to be at university, how you won't have all this help that compared to high school. And I give them a credit in that point. They're slightly right. But I know from my experience in uni, we have counsellors, we have success coaches, we have career counsellors, we have multiple different things that my school didn't even offer. My school didn't even touch upon. My school said that we'd have to do our assignments by ourselves, no help, nothing. When I could just list off four different helps just then, and not only that, you can email your lecturer whenever you want, and if they reply, they'll schedule time with you and you meet up with them and you could spend as much as you want with them helping you. But in high school, they taught you to just figure it out yourself. They taught you to just kind of try it and see how you go, because you can't fail. But what they don't tell you is that it's quite easy to fail. 
I thought high school was about setting you up for uni. If that's the case, why am I struggling in uni? It's not because I'm not dumb. I do admit I'm not the smartest, but at the same time, if this if high school is supposed to teach you ways to help you with uni, why would the ways they teach you to help you with uni simply just figure it out on your own? But no, I'll, I'll leave that aside for the moment because you know what? Every school was different. Maybe some schools did, maybe some schools didn't. Who knows? That's not the point. Why did I say in the beginning of this that my childhood was wasted? High school and is a small part of my childhood. You're always told as a kid to go out and play in, you know, the gardens and in the streets and have fun. But I can't spend five minutes without leaving my house without getting a phone call from someone like a mum or dad being like, where are you? Where have you been? Why have you not answered my four text messages? How am I supposed to know that I'm fine and I'm safe when the parents refuse to leave, let us sometimes even leave the house walls? And then they're surprised when we're older that we want to stay inside because that's what we've been taught our whole lives. And they're like, why don't you wear the leave? And it's like, it was instilled from us as kids to not leave the house unless you want to send them a text message every two minutes. I go on a date with my boyfriend and I can't go for a single date without a text message being like, are you safe? I'm with someone who's safe. We're in a safe location, but this text message has still come through. My parents aren't even the extreme. I know some parents, and this has happened before, I'm not even kidding. I told my friend, and her friend told her mum that she's at my house. Not even a two minute walk from our house. Here to here. She came over. Because she missed one text message, her mum called the police to see where her daughter was missing. She didn't even try to walk to our house and be like, are you here where you told me you would be? She called the police. The police rocked up at my door saying, do you have this child as a hostage? And I said, no, this is my friend who told her mother that she is here. We couldn't spend a couple of hours together without her mum calling the police being concerned that she was missing. When her mum was up the road, sitting in her home. And you wonder why we don't want to leave the house that much. How scary is that to think? I've grown up in a generation where most of the people in my generation have depression or anxiety or any other me mental illness. And I'm not saying other generations don't, but I'm saying my generation seems to have depression and anxiety the most when we do. You wonder where our anxiety and depression is from? Look at the generation above us or any of the ones above us, in effect. They've destroyed our planet. They've destroyed the environment we live in. They've made jobs harder to get to. They've made living harder. They've made everything harder. And you wonder why we're stressed? You wonder why we're sitting in our rooms late at night doing our uni homework or our homework at all and juggling, juggling all these things around. For example, that I have to get a job. I have to get my P's by a certain time. I have to get my license because I was told, live your childhood, have fun with your childhood, but make sure you get a job as soon as you humanly can. So for, my, for me, in Australia, to get a job, you have to be 14 years and 9 months. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But as soon as I turned 14 years and 9 months on the dot, I was asked to get a job. How was that in childhood? I personally didn't get a job until I was 18. Where I felt, well, 17 or 18, but I felt comfortable in that sense that I knew what I was doing. I wasn't drowning in my uni or I wasn't drowning in my high school work. I was stable at the time. I was told to get my learners straight away. I think the age is 16 where you can go for your L's, which is fine. I did. I followed the path. I went for my L's. I got them when I was 16. You're supposed to get your P's as soon as you can. You work the 75 hours you need to drive day and night. You get the minimum 10 lessons and then you get your peas. I'm turning 19 and I still don't have my peas. Do I get humiliated for it? Do I get my own family telling me that it's not cool and that I need to grow up more and I need to step up more and I, how horrible do I feel that my younger cousins have their peas? I'm sorry when I say this, I am my own person. If I don't want to get my peas right now, then you need to take a step back because I'm obviously dealing with more things that's not at the top of my priority list. Please calm down. 
to the generation above me, you say that we're the fault, you say that we're the mess, I ain't putting blame on you. But when you look at the earth around you, we didn't exist when you guys were burning things down, when you were dropping bombs on each other. We didn't exist, my generation. When you thought it was okay to shoot people because of their colour, sex, or race. We weren't around for that. And now we're around. And we're accepting all genders. We're accepting all colour. We accept all races. We accept all sexuality. Not saying you guys didn't, because you started to. You guys started the revolution, and that I applaud you upon. But why do I still have to fight for my right, for my sexuality? Why do I still have to come out if I have to and for it to be such a heart-wrenching thing to do? Why is it that my friends are terrified to come out to their own parents? Because God forbid if they do, their parents have told them, we, if you come out as anything other than straight, you're not allowed in our household. Yet you're telling us that you spend your whole life, your whole generational life, Working on breaking that, yet you're the ones that force it the most. How does that make sense? Maybe I'm just ignorant, maybe I'm just dumb, but can you explain that to me? Explain to me how the world is literally dying around us, and my generation's trying to save it, yet you're the one that's blaming us? We've been on this earth for, let's say, 25 years, just to cap most people. My generation's been here for, let's say, 25 years. You guys have been here for almost 100 years including the top ranked people and you're saying it's our fault that the trees are dying when we're planting thousands of trees you're saying it's our fault that there's plastic in the ocean when we've made metal straws and we've made it more prominent we've made things easier and more biodegradable you're saying it's our fault that we test on animals for makeup products when that stopped there's more vegan things in the world there's more dairy free there's more blank free things not because we're bougie and we want the top of the range stuff but because we want to protect our earth we have one mother nature we have one earth we're trying to fix it we're not trying to ruin it but i admit we do buy more clothes than you guys probably do and that's fair and i understand and that goes to a part of it and i'm not saying that we don't do anything wrong my generation does a lot of things that are wrong i'm not trying to point the blame at anyone all i'm saying is is that how dare you think that each generation isn't doing something to help the environment? Your generation, the one above mine, yeah, you kind of helps the environment, but you focus on the human rights, which that I am so blessed upon because now I can have best friends who are of any race or sexuality and gender or non-gender, and it's fine for us to walk down the street together because I am not part of the white culture club. I ain't enforcing the white policy rule that we had in Australia when no blacks were allowed. No, I can have friends of any colour, even though I still have people from my, my parents' generation who might question it, who see me hanging out with my best friends who are girls and be like, are you gay? Why? Because I'm hanging out with people who are my friends? Oh, I had a rainbow cake when I was 17. All my cousins thought I was, well, no, even 18. My apologies for speaking incorrectly. It was a rainbow cake. My cousins all thought I was coming out as gay. My boyfriend was sitting next to me being like, you, you know existing, right? My own cousins, who were my generation, thought I was coming out gay because I had a rainbow cake. Just to clarify for the generation who doesn't know, gay means girls who love girls. My boyfriend, boy friend, was sitting next to me. Don't get me wrong, I love both genders, but that's not the point. The point is, is that the stigma is still insisted in all of us. I cannot get a tattoo because it doesn't look right on women according to my mum's generation. Have you seen the rest of my generation? There's 19 year olds who are billionaires or you know millionaires and are living their best lives doing what they love the most. YouTubers are a thing who change the world even though the older generation thinks that they're destroying the world. Granted there are some who are a bit of a mess but there was always that bunch in everyone's generation. My education system was ruined, and not because of your generation or my generation, but because we don't change the education system. We think that it can stay the same when it really shouldn't. Why do you think it's fair that the education sh system should stay the same? I didn't know how to help my friends with depression and anxiety 
I felt like that should be taught at least somewhere in that education system how to help my friends because like I was saying for most of this video most of the people in my generation have depression or anxiety I as one of them I have it too and I didn't know how to deal with it I didn't know how to help myself I didn't know how to help my friends until I went to a therapist who gave me tips and tricks and now I tell my friends all the time this is how you deal with it I'm their therapist not because I think I'm high and mighty but because they had no one to turn to because they had no one who knew anything unless Google was around and even then we wouldn't search it because what if someone saw it in our search history and then thought it was real it, we don't always know what's real on Google it's always unimportant information might be true might be not but we don't know if I could say anything that sticks in your brain think of it like this the education system I'm not the only one who said this needs to get more life skills I shouldn't have to go to an extra life degree I shouldn't have to get a degree in life on how to change a tire or change oil or how to do my taxes or how to pay for a mortgage it shouldn't be the parents job either some kids don't have parents some kids don't have their parents around constantly because maybe they're working two to three jobs because they're trying to figure it out on their own or maybe some kids simply just have grandparents who are just trying to put a roof over their head and feed them and you're right some kids do have two parents some kids might have one parent or four because they were divorced and now married again and you're right they could probably teach them too I'm not saying they don't have to, I'm not trying to give them the lazy pass. I'm just saying that I think even if it's one class a week, one class a month, just call it the life day. You spend all day teaching them different life things. For example, if you do like math, right? Teach them how to do taxes. If it's a home ec class or food class, teach them how to do healthy dinners. One class a month. How long is high school in? It's not even the whole 12 months. You could teach one class a month even. Just enough to be like, this is how you work life. I bet you the next generation would be so much smarter than us, would be so much better at us in life. And isn't that what we want, is for the next generation to be so much better than us in life? Do we want each generation to be like, yes, you're doing better than us at life, and that's what we want. Because my generation is still fighting the fight that the generation before me fought, which was the LGBTQT plus community trying to make that normalized, even though it should already be normalized. The thought of just having any race and gender and men can wear makeup is completely fine, even though the generation above is a kind of bit confused, which, retrospect, I understand. I would love to know more about religions. I'd love to know what the meaning of the birth curve is because I know they're there. But I couldn't tell you what they mean. I could give my ignorant opinion upon it, but I don't want to upset an entire religion. I'd love to know more about how other countries work and maybe why, like, for example, Greece's economics is not maybe the greatest compared to why America chose to vote in Trump when most of America hated Trump. I'm not bashing on anyone in these situations. These are questions that I don't have answers to because I'm not taught any of these things. Like, how do you vote for your own country? I don't understand. My lecture went off at all of us in uni because none of us knew who we were voting for or what we were voting upon. And he thought, he said to us, and I thought this was an interesting statement to end with. I moved from a different country. I'm from South Africa. Yeah, I know more about your voting system than the people who live here. I know more about your voting system and you guys have gone through your own educational system. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? If your own educational system doesn't tell you how to vote for your own country or who is even in the parliament or in your governmental system without it being broadcasted on the news as an orange or a wannabe orange, would you really know what's happening in your own country? Would you even know what's happening in your own world? God forbid I wouldn't have a single clue.